существует, и исполнители его воли на земле будет. Произойдет покушение на мою жизнь. Убийцы следовали за мной из самой России. Я не боюсь смерти. Я всегда следовал заветам нашей церкви, регулярно принимал участие, постился, я служил Господу Иисусу Христу и исполнил Слово на земле защитя от меня и приведу к ногам Господа нашего, который простит мне Cleared up without a lot of fuss. No need to splash it all over the papers. Hmm. Reputation of the line to think of and all that. There's a good fellow. Care to join me in a drink? Just the two of us, man to man. I'll be in the smoking car. I say, well done. Now how about that drink? Excusez-moi, monsieur. Excuse me, sir. Cognac, please. Very good, madame. Thank you. There you are. What a nasty business. Oh well, good job it's over. It saves me a bit of trouble. Cheers! Saves you trouble? How? Oh. oh well, the word went out that one of those anarchist chaps was travelling on the express precisely in order to blow up that poor old fellow Obolensky. So the uh, company sent me along to see if I could spot him and nip things in the bud, you see, before any unpleasantness. Fact is, for a while I wasn't sure if it was him or you. Me? Well, travelling without a ticket, assumed name and all that, you can see why I might have wondered. Uh, no hard feelings, I hope. No hard feelings. Good job you finding that bomb. I wonder, have you ever considered doing a bit more work in this line? What line? Surely a man of your perception must realize that Europe is on the brink of war. Britain and America have certain uh, common interests. An American who knows his way about, cool head in a tight spot. Uh, frankly, we could use a fellow like you. Your English police seem to have a different opinion. Oh yes, that awkward business with that Irish policeman. As a matter of fact, I've looked into that. You know, you really shouldn't have helped that fellow, even if he was wounded. Our police tend to take it rather to heart when a policeman is killed. But in this case, I think there may have been a bit of a misunderstanding. Guilt by association, if you see what I mean. Fact is, you're a doctor, Hippocratic Oath and all that. I think we can clear this business up fairly easily, assuming we want to. You mean assuming you want to? This isn't the first time you've come to our attention, uh, Mr. Kath. We never have known quite what to make of you. Some of us were of the opinion that you were rather a loose cannon, like your friend Mr. Whitney. Unfortunate what happened to him. Me, I've always felt that when push came to shove, you'd turn out to be one of our sort. What do you think? I'm sorry, Abbott. I've never been much of a joiner. Just remember, the offer is open. The world is changing, and one does need to choose sides. And sometimes things change so fast that it's hard to tell one side from the other. But as I hate to say it, sometimes these situations do come down to a for-us or against-us sort of problem, if you see what I mean. I'll remember that. Excuse me. Uh, 
Johanna. I'm very tired. Please let me go. Why are you following me? There is so much I want to say. It's just that I am tired. You can't imagine how tired I am. We'll talk in the morning. Good night. You could have taken off the sash first. We're almost to the border. We've got to stop the train. Why? Why? Once we're in Serbia, they'll kill us. And if we stop before the border? The terrorists will be captured by the Austrian police. Along with the arms. Yes. You're being used. You and August Schmidt. What do you mean? Germany and Austria want war. All they need is an incident to set it off, like Sarajevo. Sarajevo wasn't enough, but crates of machine guns captured in the hands of Serbian terrorists. Now that could start a war. Anna, how do you think your superiors knew about the arms sale? Schmidt's been set up. Germany wanted this deal to happen, and they wanted it blown wide open. By you. Anna, wait! <laughs> 